Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're still continuing our geometry playlist and in the previous video we've, uh, we've done some angle chasing and we were discussing specifically the circumcenter. And in this video we'll be discussing our second center of uh, triangle and that is the in-center. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So what's the definition of the in-center? Well, actually the in-center has basically two definitions, uh, but uh, basically of course it's the same point, uh, but we can still define it in two ways. So the first definition is basically uh, coming from the name of the in-center. So basically just like the circumcenter, like it was the center, right? The center of the circumcircle. So what is the in-center then? So the it is basically the center of the in-circle. So what is the in-circle? Uh, basically, the in-circle is the circle that is touching the three sides of the triangle from the inside. So basically, like, let's uh, assume like we have here, like, as we agree, we start by drawing the circle because it's much easier. And then, like, we need uh, to have our triangle, uh, like, the three sides of the triangle tangent to the, uh, to the circle, to the in-circle, basically. So let's draw a tangent here another tangent here let's extend that and finally a tangent here okay so basically if we have like if this triangle was ABC then we call this circle which is the circle that is tangent to the three sides of the triangle A, B, A, C, and B, C. From the inside, we call it the in circle, the in circle. And basically, the center of this uh, circle is basically our in center. So basically, we denote uh, to it, to the in center uh, with I. So like we denote it with uh, O to the circumcent circumcenter, and we denote basically like to uh, this the in center with I, capital I. Okay, so that's our first definition for the insert for the in-center from its name, like it's the center of the in-circle. However, like in this video, we'll not be dealing with this definition. Uh, we will be dealing with the other definition. So let's basically uh, erase here. Let's basically erase everything. Okay. So what is the second definition of the in-center? Well, it's very famous. It's basically the concurrency point of the three angle bisector, the three internal angle bisectors of the triangle ABC. So first of all, like, let's try uh, drawing a triangle ABC. All right, so this is our triangle ABC. And then let's draw uh, the angle bisectors, like of angle B, angle C, and angle A. So basically it's enough like to draw two angle bisectors, so let's draw just the internal angle bisector of B and C. So let's say, let's draw them another color. All right, let's say this is the angle bisector of B, and this is the angle bisector of C. Uh, and they two like meet uh, at the in center, which is I. Okay, so this is I. All right, so like this is the second definition, and you can see why we like we want to use this definition, not the the previous one, because like here we're doing angle chasing, right? And here in this definition we have three angle bisectors, and this is perfect for angle chasing, right? In fact, we can immediately find all the angles, uh, like unlike our previous video with the circumcenter here, we can at once find all the angles uh, at once. So let's see, let's see why. So first of all, we want to like to find this angle. And of course this one and this one. However, because this is an angle bisector, then guess what? What is this angle and this angle? They are both uh, C over two. They are both C over two, right? Because it's an angle bisector, it bisects the angle C. So this is C over two and this one, 2 is C over 2. 
What about this one? Well, the same, b over 2 and b over 2. All right, so now we immediately found both this angle and this angle. Now we want to find this one, and that's really simple. We have one triangle, we, we know two angles, so we can find the third one, right? Okay, so what is it? So actually, uh, BIC, like let's write, write it here. BIC is equal to uh, pi minus B over 2 minus C over 2. And actually from here, like you can say that we, like we're done. We found actually the, the angle BIC using the, the angles B and C. However, like we can still, uh, like uh, we can still uh, write it in a cleaner way. And in fact, like take this as a general rule, like when you have lots of B and C and A, for example, you, like let's imagine we have minus three B minus three C and stuff like that. Well, you can usually uh, reduce it and of course, because we know that a plus b plus c is equal to uh, pi, that means we can always like try to simplify uh, stuff. Uh, For example, let's take, a, let's take a look here. So take a look. Here we have minus b over 2 minus c over 2. So we can write that like this. Pi minus b plus c over 2. However, what is b plus c? Well, b plus c is pi minus a, right? So that's actually uh, pi minus pi minus a over 2. And that's basically uh, like pi over 2 plus a over 2. Now that's much cleaner. Take a look here. This is just pi over 2 plus a over 2. So that's actually what this angle is. BIC is simply pi over 2 plus A over 2. All right. And in fact, like uh, if you prefer to use uh, degrees, then you can write it as uh, 90 degrees plus A over 2. Okay. So now actually we found our angle BIC, just like in our previous video, if you remember BOC, uh, when the triangle was acute, it was 2 times a. And now we actually linked this one as well to the angle a. It's simply pi over 2 plus a over 2 or uh, in other, like using degrees, 90 degrees plus a over 2. All right. So basically now we're done actually. Uh, of course, like uh, the same goes for bia and the angle cia, but you just need to change like a here like to c and here to b. So you just need to be careful about that. And fortunately here, like we don't have like uh, two cases, like in our previous video, if you remember, we discussed two cases. The first one when the triangle was acute and the second one when it was obtuse. However, here, like actually the two cases are the same because just imagine if this triangle was obtuse, still the incircle will like still, uh, sorry, the incenter will still uh, li lie inside the triangle. So like nothing changes because we have the three internal angle bisectors. So they must lie inside the triangle. So no difference at all. We can still say that it's pi over 2 plus a over 2 no matter what is the type of our triangle. Okay, so in this video we've discussed the in, the in center and in the previous video we've discussed the circumcenter. So in the next video we'll be discussing our third and final actually uh, center of triangle and that is the orthocenter. So please uh, guys uh, like the video, share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.